Peggy 3. Train's a new era really is a whole new beginning. Very big project. Um, it's probably the biggest thing we've done in Train's history. Next generation graphics, advanced physics. Refactored everything, rethought everything. Train delivers pretty much um, everything you've experienced from Train's in the past, but then we've got a, a bunch of new features on top as well. Our, our interface has been uh, improved across the board. We've basically tried to simplify things so that you're only ever um, a couple of clicks away from where you want to get to. So that allows users to load up uh, the routes menu in one window to see what routes they have access to while loading up Content Manager in another window, having the launcher available in another window and maybe even loading one of those routes up so they can potentially have unlimited number of windows open to be using trains all from the one database. Several years ago we decided that we had to create a new underlying architecture for trains to take us into the future. The relationship of E2 and trains is simply put that trains is the game and E2 is the engine. We also have a much, much upgraded lighting and shadowing system, so everything looks a lot more realistic. Normal maps really pop out at you. Um, it's not a you know, bought off the shelf engine. It's written custom for us, by us. What it means to an everyday gamer is that you're going to get much better graphics, you're going to get much smoother results. As you move around the world, everything's going to stream in smoothly. They're going to get the best experience they've ever had in trains. They're going to be driving along. Driving through a forest, and all the trees having a shadow on the ground, cast dynamically from wherever they happen to be. Now you see that tree waving backwards and forwards, the shadow moves at the same time. It's, you know, it's brilliant. And to have that, that cast across the track and onto the side of the train and whatever. Particles like smoke and weather glide off the terrain. Uh, smoke won't penetrate through tunnels or penetrate through a bridge. It will, it will billow underneath it and billow around it. Uh, so you get some really cool results visually from that kind of thing. That and the lighting effects are much, much crisper, much deeper. Um, you get more bright highlights, more specular, more reflections, more bump maps. Um, it brings a lot of detail out in the world. The loco is going to be ramping up, the smoke's going to be billowing in their face. There's going to be no pauses whatsoever because the engine is going to be taking care of laying off all the processing it needs to do to multiple cores and not getting bogged down on one core having to do everything.